Good evening, a community in mourning as we still don't know the reason a mother killed her four adopted children and then took her own life. Strangers gather tonight in Columbia to remember this family. As News Channel 5's Jessica Newton tells us, they also came together to pray for the first responders. The story is new at 10. More than 100 people in the Columbia community came together this evening looking for answers. They're all hurting, but one thing they know is together they can begin to heal. This was not a normal vigil. Most people here did not know the family personally, but this vigil was as important as any other. Bringing awareness to uh, you know, mental health issues and suicide it seemed appropriate and, and was much needed, quite frankly. And it's something people young and old came out for. This really shock the community. Everywhere you go, you hear something about it or see it in the paper. For those in the community, it's almost unthinkable. We'll never fully be able to understand how this could happen, how a mother could be so distraught to take her own life and the lives of her children. In addition to the prayers for the family, there were prayers and thanks given to first responders who had to witness the aftermath of the crime and who are continuing to investigate. As the sun is going down, as the darkness grows around us, the lights that we're holding will shine brighter. The hope is together they can grow stronger as a community and lift each other up. So hopefully something like this will not happen again. Events like this shouldn't define us. It's how we come together afterwards that should define us. Jesse Knudsen, News Channel 5. A GoFundMe has been set up to help pay for funeral costs for Bo Lee, Megan, Leah, and Kaylee Lynn, along with their mother, Cynthia Collier. We have posted a link to that, as well as resources for those dealing with thoughts of suicide on our website. Go to newschannel5.com.